So, what I'm going to do now is just do an example with you and show how, to, how this works. This section of work is easy as long as you lay things out clearly and sensibly. And if, I'm going, if I can be really clever, I'm going to try and freeze, at least on the visualiser, if not on the video, that top line up there on the board. Okay, it hasn't worked on the video, but it's worked here in the classroom. So, we are going to use Simpson's rule. to evaluate this integral to six decimal places and we are going to use oops, use five ordinates which is something we haven't mentioned yet you may well know what that's all about anyway There could be a question. If it says use five ordinates, what do you think that means? Five, probably six strips, five lines. It means five lines. So if you're doing a sketch a minute, don't really have to worry about what that curve looks like. There we go, it looks like that. I'll just con you, okay? It really doesn't matter that much. I'm just going to say it looks like that. And we're going from 0 to 1. So 0 and 1 are at starting and end points. 5 ordinates means 5 vertical lines. So I'm going to have a vertical line here at the beginning. I'm going to have a vertical line here. I need my third, my fourth, my fifth vertical line. <clears throat> How many strips have I got? Four. Is that an even number? Yeah. Then we're fine, okay? So the ordinates is basically how many boundary lines there are. That's always one more than the number of strips. So here, that will be x0, that will be x1, x2, x3 and x4. What will the width of each of those strips be? <laughs> no need to use that formula, just look at it and think. We've got one, two, three, four strips. 0.25, yeah. Okay. If you wanted to, that came from B minus A over N. That said B was one, that's the right hand limit. A was zero, that's the left hand limit. N, the number of strips was four. One divided by four is of course 0.25. We all happy with that? Okay. The way I suggest you organize your work is like this. With a table, we'll have our Ns, our X values, our Y values, and then we'll have what type of thing they are. And I'll explain what that means in a minute. So we're going to have basically one, not one, two, three, and four are going to be our rows. What is x naught? What is the value of x over here? At the left, naught. Yep, that's right. What is the value of x1? We've moved one width over. 0.25. What is the value of x2? Yep. Keep going, Sonny. We now need to work out the y value, which is the height of the curve at each of these points. We will get that from using the formula. The formula here, basically, you know, that's what we were integrating is y equals 1 over 1 plus x squared. 
when x is zero, what's the value of that thing there? Don't go to your calculators for x is zero, please. Sally? One. Yes, one over one plus nothing. One over one is one. Thank you. Let's just do this bottom one without calculators. When x is one, one over one plus one squared? So what is the decimal? Is it? Half. A half, thank you. Right. Now, before we go and do the other ones, it said in the question it wants us to get our answer to six decimal places. What should we do in our working out if it wants an answer to six decimal places? Fractions. You could do, do fractions, yeah. You could do fractions. That's a good answer because fractions are exact. Seven. Yeah, that's right. If it says it wants the answer to six decimal places, that means that you must work to seven decimal places. You must always work to one more decimal place than they want the answer, so you're not going to have rounding errors creeping in. They might creep in there. They might, but they're less likely to, and they're going to be smaller if they did. So here, you will substitute these three values into that formula. Can you be bothered to do that, or would you like me to tell you the answers? I can do it. You can do it? Yeah. Off you go then. That's fine. I just thought you'd be lazy. <laughs> Is Laura the only person who can be bothered to do it, or are other people doing it for themselves as well? Mm. Are you doing it for yourself, Greg? Mm. Okay. Right, I'll pause the video a minute, we'll put the answers on in a minute. <laughs> 